there was one wood cutter he used to cut wood daily slogging it out in the hot sun sweating the same company employed another wood cutter as well the second wood cutter used to cut more than the first as a result of that after one year the company increased his salary the first wood cutter complained i have been working so long in this organization and you have increased his salary more than mine they said look we are production oriented he is cutting double the trees that you are cutting you also increase your performance we'll increase your salary more than his so he tried harder and harder but he was not able to increase his production so he went to them and said how does he cut so many tr trees they said why don't you ask him he went and asked the second lumberjack how do you do it that lumberjack said every time i cut a tree i take a 5 minute break in which i sharpen my saw do you sharpen your saw the other one first one said no i just keep hitting and hitting and hitting said that is the mistake you need to sharpen your saw similarly you are working in the world you are running from morning till night from crisis management to problem to difficulty to resolution of conflict at home and the office amongst the relatives with the people in india over the phone and via skype but all these conflict resolutions etc that you keep doing requires your own elevation of consciousness the more sublime consciousness you bring to bear on your task your work your issues the more efficient you will be so do you take time to sharpen your saw do you take time to improve your mind through sadhana no swami ji we are so busy we don't have time that is the problem it is like that lumberjack our scriptures tell us that look you do need to do sadhana on a daily basis just like you exercise now in modern day occupations and professions people are doing sedentary work through the day you have to sit in your office all day long so people realize if i continue this lifestyle i will fall sick i need to take out half an hour to 1 hour on a daily basis for exercise to maintain my health the biggest cause for ill health is lack of exercise and the biggest solution is the exercise whether you do the yoga asanas or walk or run or aerobics or gym anything will help but to maintain your physical health you do need exercise now you don't exercise 24 hours a day you exercise for a little portion that helps you through the day what about the exercise for the mind <laughs> the mind is subject to wear and tear because you are handling the world that is why the attachment the hatred the hankering the aversion the distraction all this is going to happen when you live in the world now for some time you need to enhance the quality of your mind and thoughts otherwise then you will say why are bad thoughts coming to me always because you are not endeavoring to purify the mind so simple lord krishna says in the bhagavad gita vivekta sevi laghvashi do sadhana in isolation 
Even the Bible says, when thou prayest, enter thy closet and lock thy door. What is the idea of that? The world should not be able to distract you. That is isolation. Even if 50 people are sitting for sadhana and the world is not distracting, that is isolation. You have heard from me in the past the example of milk and water. If you take milk and pour it in water, it will mix in the water. The milk does not have the strength to remain, to maintain its undiluted entity when it is in association with water. Now you do something to the milk, keep it separate from the water. And in isolation, you transform it into yogurt. Now churn the yogurt and extract butter. This butter is now immiscible. It will sit on the water and float. It will challenge the water, Mr. Water, you can do nothing to me now. As long as I was milk, you would dilute my concentration. People would throw me away in Indian restaurants. Waiter, kaisa dood lai ho, isme pani mila hua hai, le jao isko. But now, pani bhai sahab, you can do nothing to me because Separate from you, I transformed myself into butter. How did that milk become butter? By staying separate from the water. Like the milk is our mind. Like the water is the world. When you live in the world, the mind becomes diluted by it. And if you wish to make it immiscible, for some time you keep the world away. This is the principle of sadhana in isolation. 